We are back with regular uploads as promised and today I'm going to answer some of the most asked questions about biomedical engineering. As a biomedical engineer myself, I've studied this field for the past eight or so years. I've done my undergrad in biomedical engineering as well as my master's. I've studied at Harvard Medical School, I've studied at Cornell University, and I'm working as a full-time biomedical engineer in upstate New York. So let's get started with this video. All right, so the first question is, what does a biomedical engineer do? So this is an interesting one. A biomedical engineer, in short, does anything related to medical technology. Now, depending on what field you're in, you can work in a research-based facility, you can work with artificial organs, orthopedics, you can work on research and development for vaccines, a ton of stuff. Anything related to medical technology is the basis. What does a biomedical engineer do on a daily basis? Now this again depends on what field you are specializing in, but your day-to-day -day activities can revolve around the work that you do. If you guys are interested in what my day looks like, I have two Day in the Life videos that you can watch over here, so feel free to check them out. What does a biomedical engineer or what does a biomedical scientist do? So this is a, a, an interesting question. The term scientist is generally given in the industry after you've completed your PhD. And after you've completed your PhD, you most likely be working on research and development. Now this can be either in the academic field or it can be in an industry. What does a biomedical technician do? As a biomedical technician, you will be involved with a lot of biomedical, well, medical equipment, and most likely your job will be related or in a, in a hospital. You'll have to know the ins and outs of big machineries like CTs, MRIs, X-rays, all that stuff. What does a biomedical engineer make? Now, this is a good question. I think this depends on two things. One, it depends on what field you're specializing in, industry versus like academia, all that stuff. The other thing, it depends on what country you're working in. So depending on these two things, a biomedical engineer makes a, a, good, a good amount of money, I'd say. In the US, the salary for a biomedical engineer goes anywhere upwards of $50,000 and then depends on what field you're working in. And again, it increases depending on your experience as well. What does a biomedical chemist do? Now, as the term suggests, since it's biomedical, you would be working revolving around medical devices. And since it's a chemist, you'll most likely be working on something like pharmaceutical related or drug delivery related. You know, there are cool technologies of like electronic pills. You may be involved with that. So all that area with chemistry as well as medical devices is your arena. What does a biomedical researcher do? So as a researcher, most likely you'll be working in a research lab that can be, you know, it points towards academia. So you'll be working with cells, different ty types of like cell therapies, therapeutic or diagnostic work, more closely with making like new discoveries is your field. Do biomedical engineers make vaccines? Yes, in fact, I have a friend who works very closely with the research and development at Pfizer. So depending on what field you're in, if you're into drug delivery, you could very well be involved with making vaccines. Do biomedical engineers go to med school? Biomedical engineering is considered a four-year degree, which is a pre-med degree in the US. So after doing biomedical engineering, if you want to go to med school, Yes, you very well can. And this goes the same for biomedical science as well. Do biomedical engineers make medicine? Of course, it comes all into drug delivery. I studied this in my grad school and this is one of the subjects that I was really interested in. The formulations of different medicines is what the pharmaceutical industry is all about. And I have a ton of friends who work in the pharmaceutical industry as biomedical engineers. Do biomedical engineers make prosthetics. Yes, they do. You can work with artificial organs, orthopedics, making prosthetics like hip joints, shoulder joints, knee joints, all that stuff. Artificial organs is a big, big part of biomedical engineering. And this is something that I was interested in in my undergrad. I have a lot of projects that revolved around this. Do biomedical engineers 
travel yes we do so i as my job travel a lot just because i have to go to different sites for business meetings what not to like go over a lot of like assay related like workflows question and answers all that stuff so honestly if traveling is something that you like you could very easily just let your company know and i'm pretty sure that they'll be willing to accommodate you do biomedical engineers make good money yes like i said again this depends on two factors, what field you're in, as well as what country you are practicing biomedical engineering in. Do biomedical engineers work with patients? This I'm going to say that not so much. Biomedical engineers work more closely with the technology that patients use and very less with patients themselves. In my job, I know that I've been a part of like a lot of like clinical trials with the FDA. I usually have someone from a regulatory team that works with these clinical patients, not myself directly. Do biomedical engineers work in labs? Yes, yes, yes. No matter what job you're doing, you'll be involved in some lab or another. I mean, even though my job doesn't go into lab that much, I still spend a good amount of time troubleshooting, coming up with different assays, all that stuff in a lab. Do biomedical engineers make a lot of money? Yeah, sure, why not? Like I know that in the US, I'm making a good amount of money for myself as a biomedical engineer. I don't know about other countries, but in the US, this field is very upcoming. Do biomedical engineers need a master's degree? No, you don't. So with an undergraduate degree, you can very easily get a biomedical related job. It just depends on whether you're interested in learning more, receiving a higher class education, and not to mention a master's degree does mean that you'll be included in a higher salary bracket when you start working. Is biomedical engineering hard? Yeah, I consider biomedical engineering pretty tough because as a BME, you're challenged with learning a lot about different fields of study. For example, when I first started out in undergrad, we had subjects ranging from electronics to electrical engineering to mechanical engineering, civil engineering, everything. Because you need to know everything about these medical devices, you are challenged with learning a little bit about each field. So it does get very challenging. But I think what you can do is by learning all of these things, it's very easy for you to find what you like and what you don't like. So specialization as you progress in this degree becomes very clear. Is biomedical engineering a good major? I would consider it a pretty good major. I mean, I feel like in the US, it's a, it's a brilliant and upcoming field. And um, the pandemic has gained a lot of respect for the work that biomedical engineers do because a lot of biomedical engineers were challenged with making these COVID-19 testing, automated testing platforms, as well as these vaccines. So it's a good upcoming major and I see other countries also giving value to it. Is biomedical engineering worth it? Absolutely. As long as you're clear and, you know, set with the goals that you have in mind, um, don't, you know, uh, settle for anything average. Uh, make sure that, you know, you're studying, you're specializing and you know what you want to do is very clear. Work towards it. If you're interested in research, work in labs, get papers published, you know, there's a lot of hard work involved. It's not an easy path, but then again, like nothing is. So if this is what you're interested in, it's definitely worth it. Is biomedical engineering in demand? Of course, like I said, the pandemic has taught us so much and biomedical engineers have gained a lot of respect. I've also had a lot of students come up to me through the mentorship programs. And I see that a lot of you guys are interested in the field of biomedical engineering. So I see so much interest in this field. If you're someone who's also confused, you don't know if you're going pre-med or engineering or biology, fill out the mentorship form in the description of this video. Um, and I'll reach out to you with the different uh, offers and the different programs that are in the mentorship program. And you can feel free to get in touch with me through that or just DM me on Instagram. Is biomedical engineering considered healthcare? So biomedical engineering is considered a field in healthcare. You don't have to directly be working with patients to be in healthcare. As long as you're working with some sort of medical technology, that's enough to, to say that you are in a career of healthcare. Is biomedical engineering, as soon as I can get this off, is biomedical engineering good for pre-med? 
Yes, it absolutely is. In fact, I was reading this research article the other day and it said that the biomedical career, biomedical engineering as an undergraduate degree is one of the most, you know, well reputed and well respected degrees for pre-med because of two reasons. One, you've considered and challenged yourself to go into an engineering discipline, which means that you've taken the effort to, you know, see the perspective from the other side. If you're considering considering being a doctor by doing a BME degree, you're challenging yourself and trying to see what the problems with medical technology are. So having this perspective is very well reputed when you go in for a medical degree in the future. And the second thing is while fulfilling the prerequisites of a medical degree, the BME field also goes over engineering disciplines. So you have so much of knowledge within your grasp by the time you go in for a medical degree, which <laughs> which country is best for biomedical engineering so i think right now currently north america in general is pretty up and coming and bme is really reputed this includes both canada as well as us for going to school and studying biomedical engineering which college is best for biomedical engineering. So I think some of the best programs are, are offered in Harvard, MIT, Cornell, Georgia Tech, uh, a couple of the UCs in the country in the US, and the BME program in the University of Toronto is pretty good as well. Now, funny story, I personally really wanted to get into the BME master's program at Georgia Tech which I think is one of the best in the country and even in the world. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get in, but I did get into Cornell, whose program was pretty industry-based and fast-paced, which is what I wanted, and I ended up doing my master's there. So it's not just the Ivy Leagues that you should focus on. There are so many programs offered in other colleges in the U.S. as well as Canada that are pretty good for biomedical engineering. Which subjects are required for biomedical engineering? So I'm going to answer this in two parts. Now, let's say the first scenario is you're a high school student who's going into undergrad for BME. In that case, just make sure you have some sort of a bio related subject in grade 11, grade 12. You should be all set. What they're looking for more than those subjects is your uh, personal statement and your essays explaining why you want to study biomedical engineering. Now, the second scenario is, let's say you are a, a graduate from an undergraduate degree who's planning to do your master's in BME. In that case, your subject should revolve around the field of specializations that you declare. For example, I personally was interested in microfluidics when I was applying to master's. So I had to show in my profile what I had done, what steps I'd taken. Do I have any papers published in that field? Did I study anything? Did I go out of my way to learn and to do, uh, you know, uh, research assistantships, internships in microfluidics to expand that interest? But in general, for BME, a good list of subjects include math, physics, biology, as well as uh, chemistry a little bit here and there. I personally hate chemistry, so I think it's not that important. I got by just fine. The last time I studied that, uh, subject was in grade 11 and 12. Um, which universities offer biomedical engineering? I think almost every single university offers BME. At this point, when I was an undergrad and I was looking, there were so many universities that didn't have this program. It's shocking. I think when um, you know I was doing my undergrad, the program was only like five or six years old in my college, which is pretty surprising. But right now, a lot more universities have started offering this program because there's just so much scope for it. Which entrance exam uh, is for biomedical engineering? This is a fantastic question. So depending on the country that you're going into, the entrance exams can vary. For example, if you're studying in US or Canada, you might have to give SAT or ACT. Or, and you might have to give TOEFL or IELTS as English proficiency exams. Whereas in other countries for a BME degree, different colleges may have like separate individual entrance exams, which is very general. So that's pretty much about it. So when I was um, in high school and applying for this BME you know, degree, I knew early on that I wanted to study this. And my first preference was to study in India. And I really wanted to study biomedical from IIT. And I failed miserably. I didn't get in. I didn't even pass the first round. I scored very bad. 
And then I guess the, the rest is just history from there as to how, you know, my career path progressed into coming to the US and studying uh -huh, everything else. So I guess that's it for this video. And that is a wrap. Okay. I didn't break anything, I promise. So that's all the questions that I had for you guys. If you think there's something that I missed, I forgot to answer, or if you have any other doubts, contact me, DM me on Instagram, reach out to me, fill out the mentorship form. If you wanna get in touch, have personal consulting or mentorship sessions with me, or just leave a comment below. I'm gonna be super active in the comments, like I said earlier, so we can have a discussion. Pretty sure other people will be able to help others out as well. So if you have any doubts, feel free to comment below. Also, if you like this style of like videos where I answered a ton of like BME related questions, maybe we should do another like series or another round of videos with other fields of study. If you're interested, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do this for more, you know, uh, degrees and uh, career options. But that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, show some support to the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Is biomedical engineering a good major on Reddit? Yes. BME to the moon. Biomedical engineering is a point.